Greetings from Windy Acres Farms. A beautiful Long Island, New York, and happy pumpkin picking season as we are entering into the pumpkin patch. But before we do, there is the Windy Acres Farm Stand. And welcome. Now, masks are required this year when entering into the pumpkin patch. And there is an official, there's lots of signs here. There is the official welcome to Windy Acres. You pick, you pick because there's a lot to pick from. Flower picking, corn maze. I love the beauty color during an autumn sunset of a cart full of sugar pumpkins. And how much are sugar pumpkins this autumn? $4 each. Pick your own. But one of the things that I love about Windy Acres, there's so many things to pick from. Gourds are $1. And if you could smell this, you would be very happy. It is a roasted corn hut. It's all they're doing is roasting corn. You can see people enjoying it right now. Farm stand right there. Fresh pressed apple cider and apple cider donuts. Yes, we've got some people eating candy apples. Now these picnic tables are great. I've actually spent a lot of time here with friends and family. We've brought in lunch. Uh, we brought in crafts actually. We brought in some uh, pumpkin gems and some jewels and made uh, autumn necklaces. Made a real day of it. Brought the kids. They jumped around on things. Surprisingly enough, they didn't break anything. And we'll get to it. Yes, this is about pumpkin picking. But Windy Acres really does have quite a lot to offer. So I wanted to show you that from the perspective of entering Windy Acres Farm. Now here's another entry point. Not really sure if everyone gets out, but it is the corn maze. And it says that it's closed. It's possible because someone did not make it out. Welcome, if you dare. Corn maze is $5 per person. If you do not make it out, you may not get a refund. I mean, they may refund your friends, family, and loved ones. But if you don't make it out, or you can't survive on just corn for a little while, could be rough. If you do make it out though, the pumpkin patch is right next to it. And that's what this is all about. Windy Acres Farm, pumpkin picking, full moon weekend, first weekend of autumn, happy autumnal equinox, Maybon, Halloween, Samhain, Thanksgiving, all those beautiful things about food and getting out on the farm. Here it is. See, if you make it out of the corn maze, you are right in the pumpkin patch. And one of the things I love about Windy Acres are, well, these cutouts, the energy of everyone having fun permeates you before you enter into the pumpkin patch. Who could ask for anything more? And if you're looking for a photo op, what says Halloween and autumn better than an orange and black sign that says pumpkins? Greetings from the pumpkin patch. All right, let's take a step in. Again, we are celebrating Windy Acres, which is on Long Island. Long Island is 118 miles. How many pumpkins could that be? All right, now let's talk about the history of the jack-o'-lantern. The pumpkin as we approach a bruja. There's a witch in the pumpkin patch. And what a pleasure to see you today brewing your stew. Pumpkins come to us as a tradition uh, from Celtic traditions. The Republic of Ireland is where it started, but actually pumpkin carving is an American tradition. In Europe, they would carve turnips. And then when they came to the New World, the Americas is where they saw the pumpkin in plenty. Just like we're seeing today, that's what I love about going pumpkin picking at the beginning of the season. But if you want to be a traditionalist, carve yourself a turnip. They will last you much longer than actually a pumpkin, but it'll be much more of a chore to carve a turnip. Now, if you headed all the way back in this direction, you would find 
the best pumpkin in the pumpkin patch and every kid knows that you go as far as you can to find the biggest pumpkin because no one wants to carry them to the farm stand but if you went past the pumpkin patch into those trees apple picking windy acres farm does have their very own apple orchard and since we are in new york i will let you know they have the empire apple <laughs> i go pumpkin picking or apple picking um, and I'm in the apple farm. I make sure to look for the Empire Apple, the Empire State, the Empire State Building. You get it. All right, we are now have a little bit of a, uh, a somber moment, sort of in reflection of Dia de los Muertos, talking about those that we have lost. It is the Windy Acres graveyard, and at this point, we'd like to remember Fan E. Toner. Keep in mind, she made out in the end. <laughs> Fred E. Kruger resides here, Windy Acres. Uh, we do have some living folk here as well. There's another one I did like. Oh, if you didn't know, Buried Alive resides here. <laughs> we are so sorry, Barry. All right, the live animals, the live residents. There is a farm. They're being fed right now. They're all running to the fence. There are your living residents when you're visiting a farm. We've got some residents who fly, some residents with four legs, some residents with two legs. And I think this makes for a great place if you're looking for somewhere to wait for the great pumpkin. This would be an ideal location because, you know, there's a lot to do here. Great pumpkin might enjoy some of those things. Sunflowers, though, are at the tent. They even have sunflower picking. It's all here. But yeah, back to it. If you're looking for a place to wait for the great pumpkin, Windy Acres, Calverton, Long Island, New York would be highly recommended. And that is uh, just a quick look. Keep in mind, no fee to use all this autumn stuff, the, the cutouts, the playground. You do have to pay for your pumpkins and to go into the corn maze. But you really can make a day of it. And I'm happy to be back in the pumpkin patch. Till next time from ever beautiful Windy Acres Farm on Long Island. Till next time.